Bays, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate y'all. Um, I really appreciate the ones that comment and engage with me so we can get this nail community going. So I'm going to get right into what this video is about. Um, I wanted to give y'all five reasons, y'all, five good reasons of why I feel like if you are a nail tech, you should not be giving discounts. And I'm going to give my reasons. So my number one thing is, my number one reason of why you as a nail tech should not be giving discounts. So I wrote down, you won't be able to grow your business. And it's, it's just really that simple. You won't be able to grow your business off of giving discounts. Because, like, first of all, it takes a lot to run a business. You know what I'm saying? So if you are a nail technician, it, this I will say this is more so for the, the professional nail tech. You know, the girl that just got her nail license, the girl that is, you know, working in a nail shop or nail setting or you know a girl that is working from home oh uh the nail the nail tech that has her own shop or salon you know what i'm saying this is the girl that i'm talking about i'm not talking about nail techs that are you know beginners and they're still learning and i mean you can know because we're all still learning but the ones that's not depending on it as you know like trying to leave a job um and you know do nails full time so if you're trying to do nails full time, you should not give discounts because you will not grow your business. Um, I remember when I first was like trying to get my foot in the door. Originally, I worked at another nail shop when I first started, you know, being like for real about it, for real about it. Um, and I was charging my prices, you know what I'm saying? But the lady that i was working with at the time she was giving out a lot of discounts and that was the the first time as a nail tech that i actually experienced why i didn't want to give discounts so i'm telling you this off of my personal experiences you know what i'm saying so um i would just always kind of feel like i wasn't getting the amount of work and effort that i was putting into what they were my client was asking me I didn't like that feeling of, you know, putting my stones, you know, that I spent a lot of good money on, you know what I'm saying? And I, I would notice that my stones be gone, but I ain't got no money. And see, that was where the problem lied. <laughs> because, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to spend all your money, you know, spend all your time learning, you know what I'm saying? How to do a skill, you know, on a person that is paying you know, and nail techs, we spend a lot of time, like people don't really understand how much time we spend perfecting our craft. And um, it just will make you feel took, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you won't be able to grow because you won't have the money to be able to keep up the business. So if you're uh, a nail tech and some nail techs come in the game doing really good work, you know what I'm saying? Like people just got an eye for it. And um, if you're giving out really good work, but you gave this set away that was really worth 90 bucks or $100 or 80 bucks or whatever, but you only charging $30, $40, $50, that's not no money. That ain't enough money to like make, you know, grow the business. So that's why I say if you are, that's my number one reason of why you won't be able to grow as a business because you won't have the money to grow. You, you are more so um people pleasing versus making sure you have what you need to be able to keep going as a business so that's my number one my number two would be you will lack returning clients so even though as a nail technician you're you're gonna think oh you know if i give this discount oh she'll come back no she won't she won't come back unless you continue to have the discount you know so you you want to make sure when you're setting your prices that you set them at a at a your rid your real prices you're going to set them at a price that you really want them at but if you're booking out your clients based upon discounts 
they're only going to come if you have the discount. The minute that you show them what you really feel like you're worth, they're gone. Because they were only there because you was offering a deal. And those those type those, that's not the type of client that you want to have when it comes to trying to run a business. Because how are you going to run a business if this person only want their nails done because it's a, a deal being offered? That's not That's not the way. So that's why I say that is my number two reason of, of why you should not do that. You will not have returning clients. It just, it just won't. You just won't. My number three that I got wrote down is um, you will feel cheated for the amount of work given. And when I say you will feel cheated, you will feel cheated. I know what it feels like. Um, I used to have a nail client. I used to do her nails and her nails was the bomb. <laughs> like every set. Like I... It was not a set that she got that was not a good set. Um, and I was offering her a deal. I was offering her a deal on her nails and her feet, actually. And I was doing the most. Like, I was doing a full set of nails at, like, a medium length. Well, it was a medium to me, but on her fingers it would look kind of short, but it wasn't. It was a medium length. But um, she was getting, like, five freestyles you know what i'm saying but i was also not only doing a full set with a freestyle of whatever type of art that she wanted which ranged from all type of art you know what i'm saying um and then i would turn around and also do like a whole gel um you know do her feet and i would do it in like gel and if you a nail tech you know gel ain't no just little simple putting on regular polish you know what i'm saying it just depends on how the person's feet look you know it's just a lot that goes into applying gel. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that was worth some money, um, especially for what I would charge for it now, which at that time I was trying to get my prices to where I really wanted them. And um, that particular client was on a big time deal. Like I'm getting ripped off, you know what I'm saying? Because of the, what I was giving her. But she was getting the benefit of having these amazing nails, these amazing feet and only coming for the price she was coming. And as soon as I hiked my prices up, she was gone so that's the you don't want um you don't want uh you don't want to feel cheated you know what i'm saying from doing all of that because a lot of times those type of clients will only pay you what that price is and they won't even tip you like they can know that you just put in a lot of work spent a lot of time hours you know what i'm saying on these nails trying to perfect them and they won't even tip so at the end of the day doing stuff like that you will feel cheated only your client will be happy and at the end of the day y'all both need to feel happy you know what i'm saying it's a nail ship so um that's just not a good idea you know so that's my number three reason of why you should not be giving discounts it's number three number four my number four will be um so if you 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 will gain those complaining type clients so if you are the nail tech that's always giving discounts trust and believe when i tell you people who usually shop like a whole bunch of deals or you know always looking on um what's the uh site called i forget what it's called but you know where you can just go and find all the deals those usually be clients that complain and i only say that because i have experience in that too like when I was, um, again, when I was working at one of the first shops that I worked at, you know, it was like my first time ever working at just like a, a black type of shop. Because my experience is, you know, in the um, Vietnamese shops, you know, um, a lot of my experience came from there. But that was, this was like I said, this was my first time being in like a black type of shop. And she used to book a lot of people through, you know, like websites that do discounts and stuff like that. So, which was cool, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do, however you do it. But the learning experience, and it was, I noticed that the clients that I was bringing in, like some of my OG clients I got right now, they still come to me. You know what I'm saying? They still paying me what I want to be paid. So, I knew this to be true. I would notice that when I would come and book, when I would do nails, you know, for people who was just coming in, those were the worst clients. Like, people that be willing to pay you money, they also are willing to come correct and know how to be a client you know what i'm saying and they they got mannerisms you know they they know what to do 
Um, but people that's coming in looking for discounts, they usually have like expectations. You know what I'm saying? They come in like wanting the most, um, having a problem with everything. It's like you just got to pay attention to the, to the type of client that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? So all of that comes into play when you're, you know, a nail tech and you're thinking about which route to go. Discounts is not it. You are going to run into the wrong type of clients. And who wants to have a complaining client every time you walk through the door? It will make you not want to do nails because they're just the people. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like working any other job. You know what I'm saying? If you're working at a school and your administration is just you know like who wants to come to work and you got to work like that it's the same thing when you're doing nails because to people it may look like a hobby but this is a lucrative business so you have to be mindful of the type of clients that you're bringing in you know you have to have a standard you know what i'm saying so that's my number four reason of why i feel like you should not give discounts because you will gain those complaining type of clients and who, nobody has time for that um my number my number five, the fifth reason that I say you um, should not give discounts is because, honey, ma'am, you, you're going to need a second job. Like, you're going to need a second job because you won't be at, first of all, the cost of living is high, high as hell, okay? Um, and how are you going to maintain? How? How? You won't be able to. You will need a second job if this is something that you're trying to do full time or like run a business. You're gonna you're gonna need a second job. You won't have enough money to be able to afford inventory. Um, you won't have enough money to really do anything because what money are you making if everything if you're doing sets for forty dollars, forty five, fifty dollars? What is that? People's people's gas tank take more than that. So you won't have any money. Um, so that's my number five reason. My my fifth reason, I mean, of why you should not um, give discounts. So I'm going to give y'all a bonus. And my bonus would be um, something that you could do instead of giving discounts. So one thing that you can do instead of giving discounts is do giveaways. Like do giveaways throughout the year, whether that's a free, free sets um, you know, something that's worth some money, you know what I'm saying? Like a person, a client could be able to come in and be like, you know, I ain't got to pay for my set today. Some clients pay a lot of money for their sets. So to get a free set, I mean, how could you beat that? I take a free set over a discount any day. So, or just do giveaways, you know, whether that's, um, Starbucks or, you know, buying your clients some roses, buy them a bottle, a good bottle too, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, buy them, give them a new set. Like, I gave away stuff all last year. I actually gave away a hoodie. I gave away a t-shirt. I gave away, uh, um, I gave away a free set. Nobody uh, took it, but I did give it away. I offered it. Um, free sets, and I always, I always give discounted prices doing like Black History Month and Valentine's Day. So, you know, I always make sure I'm doing something to give back. And I, as I progress and make more money, I try to figure out new ways to do things to just give back. And um, it's just good to do that because, it's and you know, as a business, you can write that off on your taxes at the end of the year. So why not give it? You know what I'm saying? So to me, that is a good alternative other than giving discounts. So, you know. I just felt like this was some good information that was that was needed. You know, a lot of nail techs don't be knowing what to do, but I do see a lot of nail techs giving away discounts, and it's like, for what? Um, I just don't understand why you would want to do that, and you should be mindful of the type of clients that's coming near, near you and around you because if a person really supports your business, they're going to support it in full, not only if I'm giving a discount. So... I hope I gave some good advice. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did and if you found this video very informative, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, let's engage. Let's talk about it. I, I love to um, have nail tech talk. That's one of the reasons why I started this community. And um, I'm ready to see it grow and see where it can go. So um, until next time, bye.